thank you for spending your last week with us. I might stay overnight with Grandfather. Of course. And thank you for letting me take Beauty. I'm too busy to ride him, and he does need to be ridden. Wish I had a horse like him. All your packing done? It's hard to believe there's only a few days. Father should be nearly there by now. Wasn't he going to ride from Cape Town? Oh, I expect he's too busy with all the development plans for the farm. I'll have to be getting back. Grandfather will be waiting for me. Come over again the same time tomorrow, and we'll go for a good long ride. Bye. Lord Fordham is still doing his level best to try and talk her out of it. He won't. There should have been a letter by now. Afternoon tea when Miss Victoria returns, please, Finison. Yes, my lord. And plenty of cakes. Yes, my lord. Hello, Grandfather. Oh. Those were your grandmother's favourites. Have these been in the family since then? Well, certainly a considerable length of time. It's just that the box looks very new. Oh. Did you happen to buy them in London yesterday? Victoria, they are a gift. No, Grandfather. They're not. Two weeks ago, you had business in Italy and wanted me to go with you. You like it? I've made up my mind. Then I won't be swayed. Your mother wouldn't be swayed either. I never saw her again. I'll come back. And you'll be here when I do. <laughs> as to that. Grandfather, you're as strong as a horse and as cunning as a fox. That is no way to address a peer of the realm. I'm just a wild colonial lass with no manners. Oh, Grandfather. Thank you. Ah, tea. You like chocolate cakes. Would you count that as a bribe? Yes, I would. But I'll overlook it. <laughs> Foggy morning, Missy. Morning. How does it feel to be so respectable? I'm his lordship's man now, Missy, so don't let me catch you tickling no trout. And who pray taught me that? <laughs> I found this across the bridle path. I ride that path every morning. Barrett, you reckon it was him? I don't know. He's bitter about losing his job. It was his fault. It was, but he's still bitter. Have you told your granddad? No, and you mustn't. We might be wrong, Seth. If he sets foot on this property, I'll have him. You be careful now. Mind how you go. I'll mind. When are you leaving? Next week. You should come out to the colony, Seth. A labouring man can earn nearly two pound a week. like to get down, my dear. What's happened? I think it might be better if we went in the house. What? Your father's ship is overdue at Singapore. It's reported missing. Vicky, get down. It's more than that, isn't it? 
We found some wreckage. Vicky, uh... no! Vicky, please! No! Oh, Vicky! No, let her go. Miss Victoria. So I'd just like to say goodbye. Get out of my way, Barrett. Let's see how fine you look. Off that horse! Get out of my way or I'll ride you down! <laughs> Don't! Don't! Don't hurt me! I'm not scared of you. understand, Grandfather. It's up to Jenny and me. He's been very quiet. Is it because of what happened with Barrett? I think he just knows that we're leaving. We'll be back one day, Beauty. Father will take good care of him. By my beauty. I promise to come back. Of course I will, Grandfather. Thank you. I'll take very good care of beauty. I know you will. Goodbye, Lord Fordham. Goodbye, Jennifer. Thank you. Boy, Missy. God bless. Mr. Cratton, I hear you had an argument with Mr. Barrett and that he lost. He lost some of his teeth too, Mom. I'm glad you're going home. I can only add to what you already know from Singapore. The natives of Sumatra have been known to take people captive. And some of the lifeboats are unaccounted for. This notice asking for any news of my husband to be forwarded here, it's in all the Far East newspapers? Yes. I want it in all the Australian newspapers as well. For how long? Until otherwise instructed. 
Mrs. Jenning, I must tell you that... Uh... My grandfather has a large account with this bank. I'll, uh... I'll see about some tea. I'm sorry. But they've already decided that... Decided this, but we haven't. There's still hope. Six weeks in Singapore, four weeks here. If Father is still alive, he'll know where to find us. Let's go there then, before the winter closes the roads. Jenny, there are no roads up the Buai. Southern Cross. They're completely different stars down here. Everything's different. What was that? A wild pig! <laughs> Good night, you rascal. <laughs> Good night. On by tomorrow. Business. Thank you. We can go on, can't we? We can get some horses here. Could I stop you? Saddle. Thank you. You can settle up inside. It'll have to be tomorrow. Thank you. And I'll need something on account. Very well. Mr. Forbes never made us pay in advance. Young lady, Mr. Forbes went bankrupt 12 months ago. Ten shillings, if you please. Oh, don't forget the charge on the hired horses. Oh, I hadn't. Five shillings more, thank you. Are you going straight out to the farm, Mrs. Denning? Yes. Hmm. By the way, have you seen much of the overseer, Mr. Stedman? I can't say that I have. Or his assistant? Mr. Grunwald. Mr. Grunwald. Hmm. Well, horses are ready. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Burton. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them about the farm? It's none of my business. You can see our farm from over here. Come on. There. So, that's home. Something's wrong.
chickens. Pigs, two cows and some sheep. Four horses. Marigold, the goose. Well, Mr. Stedman and Mr. Grunwald appear to have left. And that man Burton knew, I'm sure. like this. Well, it's nothing a good clean-up won't fix. You go and get the horses stabled and I'll start a fire. I'm Manfred Grunwald. How do you do? I do miss you, Mother. <laughs> Vicky! Stedman said the farmer's soul, so the stock must go. He said I could stay till the new owner come. Why didn't you sleep in here? It's not my house. I'm happy outside. I sleep in the open sometime. I liked it. Mr. Stedman was not honest, I think. No, he was not. Was it you who looked after my mother's grave? Thank you. So, you've been here on your own, building your flying machine. Yes. My design will use natural power. From the body, from the air. Like birds. Without an engine? Birds do not need an engine. What they can do, we can do. Oh, I forget. A letter came before you arrived. It's from England. It's from father. What is it? Dearest Jenny, I hope this letter finds you and Vicky well. My reason for writing so soon, however, is very sad. Black Beauty is no more. He died a week after you left. It was very peaceful. We've put him in the back of the north field by the trees. Part of my life has ended, and I know part of yours. A very great 
Captain Loving Bart. Dearest Jenny, I'm so sorry to write such news in my first letter. Beautiful black horse. Black beauty. 